Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you this circuit that takes an input voltage and produces a higher voltage at its output. And it does so by using a property of the inductors. An inductor such as this one, when you connect it to a DC supply, it resists the flow of current by building around itself a magnetic field, then the current continues to flow normally. But when the current is disconnected, the magnetic field contains energy and then collapses, inducing in the inductor a current that can produce at the inductor's terminal a voltage that is higher to the original voltage that we put in the inductor. And this property is used to build a circuit such as this that is known as a boost converter. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Okay, here is the circuit. This is the inductor. As you can see, one of the terminals is connected to the positive of our voltage supply, and the other end goes to the drain of a MOSFET transistor. So, when you connect the circuit, the current flows through the inductor and then the magnetic field is built around the inductor. Then the MOSFET goes off and the magnetic field collapses, increasing the voltage in the inductor. And this voltage cannot go through the MOSFET and follows the path through this diode charging this capacitor at a higher voltage than we have in the input side. Now, this switching of the MOSFET must be done very rapidly at several kilohertz. And for that reason, we need this chip, the CD4047, which is very uh, useful. And what it does is to produce a train of rectangular pulses at its output. This train of pulses goes to the gate of the MOSFET, so the MOSFET turns on and off very quickly. And in that simple way, you can obtain here at the output a higher voltage than the one you have at the input of the circuit. Let's now see the circuit working. Okay, the circuit is now connected to the variable power supply. I will use 5 volts at the input and the multimeter is connected at the output at the capacitor's terminals. So, let's turn on the power supply and we can see that we have at the output 65 volts. That is, we have a substantial increase of voltage from the input to the output. Of course, this very simple circuit is not regulated. When you connect a load to the output, the voltage will fall depending on how much current are you asking from the circuit. If you demand a few milliamps, the voltage will be maybe 60, 62 volts. But if you want more current at the output, the voltage can fall to 50, 40 or 20 volts. So the design factor is important in this kind of circuits. And how much increase of voltage can you have from the input to the output? That also depends on the inductor. With more inductance, you have a higher voltage increase and vice versa. Okay, there you have it. 
a very simple boost converter circuit. I hope you liked this video, if that is the case, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks for coming to my channel and see you in the next video.